This is question 10. Here we're told that Simon wants to raise money for charity. He designs a game for people to play. We're told that Simon uses two fair five-sided spinners for the game. We're then told that people spin each spinner once and a person wins the game when both spinners land on the same letter. We're told that people pay 40p for each game they play and that the prize for a win is one pound. We're then asked to work out if Simon is likely to raise any money for charity with his game. So the very first thing that we're going to need to do in order to figure this out is we need to know what the probability of someone winning the game will be. So normally what I would suggest when there are two events, I would suggest drawing a probability tree diagram to list all of those events and the associated probabilities. However, with this question, what I, I think might be a bit quicker and a bit easier is to just list the ways that people could win the game and work out the probabilities for each of those. So the ways that people could win the game, well, someone could get an R on the first spinner and an R on the second one. They could get a W on the first and a W on the second or a B on the first and a B on the second. OK, so those are the ways that people could win by spinning a spinner and getting the same letter on each. So working out the probabilities here, the probability of someone getting an R followed by another R, that well that would be, so the first probability would be three fifths. And then the second probability would be one fifth. And to work out the probability of getting those consecutively, so getting that on the first and that on the second, to work that out, we would need to multiply them together. So that gives us probability that someone wins by getting two R's would be three over 25. Then looking at W, well, that's going to be one over five on the first spinner multiplied by two over five on the second. So that gives us again, two over 25. And then the final one, a B on the first spinner would be one fifth. And then on the second spinner, two fifths. So multiplying those together, that gives us two over 25 as well. So these are the possible ways that people could win the game. So what I'm saying here is that I could either do it with RR or WW or B and a B. So, in total, the probability that someone would win the game would be 7 over 25. So, just adding together each of those probabilities. So, that's the probability that someone wins the game, 7 over 25. Now, we're asked to work out if Simon is likely to raise any money for charity with his game bearing in mind that he charges 40 people, uh, sorry, 40p for people to play and one pound for a win. So what we're saying here is that if 25 people were going to play the game, he would expect to have to pay seven of them the one pound prize. So if we imagine that 25 people were playing, then that means that 25 people are going to be paying 40p each. So 20 multiplied by 40, which gives us an answer of uh, 1,000. And obviously that is in, that's 1,000 pence, uh, which we can then say is, that would be uh, 10 pounds. So if 25 people were playing, the take-ins for that would be £10. We're told that the prize for a win is £1 and you would expect to pay seven people that, that prize for a win because we'd expect seven people to win out of the 25 that play. So, seven multiplied by £1, you would expect to be paying £7 in prize money. So, is Simon likely to raise any money for charity with his game? The answer to that is yes, he is, 
because you can see here that if 25 people play, you would expect to pay out £7, so you would expect to make a £3 profit for every 25 people that play. Uh, so final answer to this question, and I would suggest writing out uh, a written statement here, would be to say, yes, uh, Simon is likely to raise money for charity with his game, because for every 25 people that play, you would expect a £3 profit.